Hi everyone, it's been almost a year since I uploaded my last video. I need to be more consistent with my YouTube content. Anyway, I'm gonna take you to one of the places where I work part-time at in this video. So if you don't know, I'm a self-funded student here. While receiving scholarship to pay for my tuition, I also work part-time jobs to pay for my living cost. One of the jobs is being an English teacher at a local cram school. I usually do this job once to twice a week for an hour and my work usually consists of teaching English conversation and marking students' assignments. So here I am, just arrived and gonna prepare for the class. Nothing special. As I said before, I also have another part-time job because this job alone isn't enough to pay for my living cost. On the weekend, I work at a food factory that produces ready-to-eat meals at 7-Eleven. Sometimes, I also get a one-day job offer from my campus. So yeah, my life here is studying and working. And traveling with friends too. That's the most important thing in life, having fun. <laughs> A lot of people in Indonesia often say to me that I'm so amazing working while studying. Well, honestly, when they tell me that, I don't see myself that way. I see it as a normal thing. Because here in Japan, and especially where I study at, I'm surrounded by like-so people. Him, for example, is one of my friends here, also from Indonesia. And like me, he's also a self-funded student, working part-time jobs while studying. Not only him, actually, almost all of my friends here also have part-time jobs. Some of them even join university clubs or organizations. So when you're surrounded by people who do the same thing, it will become normal and the hardships will also feel lighter because you can share with them since they also experience that. I'm so grateful that I've met my friends here. They're the ones who make my uni life here feel so much fun. Okay, let's go back to work. For this job, I have to come 20 minutes early for the preparation. Today, I'm teaching two students an English conversation class and I need to print some worksheets for them. My students are mostly from elementary school to junior high school and I usually teach two to five students in each class. This time is a different class though since I teach two high school students, so I have to teach them a more advanced English conversation. Some people also ask me how to find part-time jobs as an international student in Japan. Well, there are two ways to do that. One is you find it yourself through websites, application, or flyers. Two is through friends' recommendation. I actually got this job and the job at the factory both from my friends' recommendation. I think this way is easier for me because you can just ask your friends about the job information before applying. So one tip for me is, always ask your friends where they work at. Alright, my work has finished today. The class was an hour and a half, and I had fun. After I've cleaned the classroom up a bit, I'm ready to go back home. I actually recorded this last year and have been procrastinating to upload it. I hope I can do better next time. not forgetting to turn off the lights, lock the door, and I'm gonna end my day here. See you guys. Otsukaresama.